all right what is going on welcome to the channel all right special highway traffic video for you all here today we are on the american legion bridge we're officially in virginia but as soon as we cross over this bridge we will be in maryland and uh let me actually start with i've been meaning to switch this over to dark I just noticed that they give you the option to switch it over now. I used to leave it on auto, but had a few people comment that it looks a lot cooler on YouTube in dark. And I typically record during the daytime, so I never catch the dark actually on camera. So here we go. We are on the highway and uh, we've got FSD in control and we are attempting to first cross states and then um, got an exit coming up in three miles and I want to see how FSD handles real life traffic with all these cars surrounded and uh, see really what happens so nothing in this video has been pre-planned or you know everything is being shot live I'm not like controlling all the, the cars around me um, I haven't these aren't paid off actors or anything like that this is an enclosed course. Um, this is Friday traffic in the DMV area at its finest. I mean, this is what it's like all the time, actually, not just on Fridays. So here we go. We're officially in Maryland. We just crossed over the bridge now in Maryland. And if anyone's familiar, we're on 495. This is the way to 95. This is the way to Route 50. Um, it's gonna actually split here in a few uh, miles. Whoa, there was like a little log on the road there. And thankfully it wasn't in the way of FSD. Now that's one of the edge cases where FSD might not recognize it and just go over like a little, looks like a pretty large branch. Anyways, thankfully we did not go over that. Um, <clears throat> I wouldn't be surprised if other cars on the highway did because it was just like right there on the road. Notice how FSD is choosing to go into the far left lane. Um, it's trying to uh, stay in the passing lane as much as possible uh, so that way it can get as far down as quick as possible. But it has to keep in mind that I do have an exit coming up. So we're coming up on the 270, 495, that's where it splits and um, I'm gonna let FSD do its thing here and take the exit for me so a lot of you all watching this in the in this local area has probably done this before but probably not on a bike like that like that guy he's dipping out he's doing his thing and um, so we're gonna let FSD do his do its thing here notice how I did just set my maximum uh, so when you're on the highway FSD does let you choose your speed and on any other road it sets the speed based on traffic so if you um, you have to keep in mind that when you're on highways it will um, go however fast you tell it so if it says 63 it would only go 63 so notice it did just switch lanes for me automatically and I just saw the sign for the two miles uh, coming up for the where the highway splits so we need to go right FSD better know I need to go right and um, get me there without having to take over or hopefully having to tell it because if you're unfamiliar with this areas like this or if you go to a new area that's where I think FSD comes in the most play um, you can see if you're unfamiliar with the area how it can just take you to uh, where you need to go um, and that way you get to learn the area a little bit better too uh, and of course you don't have to use FSD all the time but if you just want to take it on like road trips especially in unfamiliar territory um, I think it's great that they have a subscription now it's only 99 bucks a month which I think is awesome I mean if you're Look at that, it's only $3 a day, $3 and some change, you know, um, compared to uh, a lot of other things that you can easily spend that on. 
Now, I would be super interested in seeing FSD being offered on a daily subscription um, because I know some people that would just want it for like a few days and I think $5 a day is a fair price because that comes out to like $150 a month uh, versus what they charge now, $100. So you should get that little discount if you're gonna pay for the month. But if you know you don't use this car every single day, then um, maybe you just want it for a couple trips, maybe just on Fridays, whatever the case is, then I think it would be really cool for them to offer a $5 a day subscription um, where that um, anyone has the choice of just adding it. And they should give you like a disclaimer, like, hey, you need to have Wi-Fi or give it like a one hour advance notice uh, for the car to update. And then, yeah, so that way it's not like exactly right on demand. Kind of like it works with premium right now. If anyone's like, um, stop using premium and then resubscribe to premium, you know that it doesn't happen like instantly. It happens like 15 minutes later sometimes. It happens five minutes later. So imagine FSD kind of working the same way. Um, so yeah, just my thoughts. Here we go. The highway split. And, you know, I felt like I was on an elevator here because I didn't even realize all I did was, you know, press a button by pulling down the gear stock. And that's it. That's all the driving I did in this entire video. And I didn't even do that. Um, the car is fantastic in the way that it drives. The autopilot has gotten a lot better over time. Um, we're coming into the year 2025. You got to believe that self-driving cars are a thing. Um, it's even better than what you see here. Tesla has unsupervised versions of this that they test that that works phenomenally. So unsupervised means that there's no one in the car. So yeah, let me know what you guys think about this video. Hit that like button if you enjoyed it. Make sure you uh, drop a comment. Uh, let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Hope you have a great rest of your day.